Good morning guys, happy Saturday and welcome to another Vlogmas. So this vlog is very kindly sponsored by Cricut where I'm going to show you guys how to do some arts and crafts which I'm so excited about. So yeah, thank you to Cricut for sponsoring. So I've currently just got ready for the day. I did film a little mini get ready with me, a little mini chat. So I'm going to take you guys back in time to that and watch me get ready and look like this, which still isn't that great, but it will have to do. I'm into the really bad habit of not being able to function without a coffee. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I have basically milk with coffee, but you know, it's still caffeine and it's an issue. We're currently sat at my desk because I'm getting ready to go out. I haven't vlogged for the past, since Paris. So for the past three days, Although it feels like it's been like months <laughs> since I last vlogged. And the main reason is because I haven't left the house. Like I haven't done anything. And if I'm honest, I'm really happy that I had the few days off because I was shattered. <laughs> I feel like once you go on a city break, you don't feel refreshed. You just feel even more tired than what you went. So I'm so happy that I did that. However, today we are actually gonna go see my grandma, which I always get so excited for. Um, obviously I won't be vlogging when I'm with her because I don't think she wants to be on YouTube. I mean, maybe she does. I'm not too sure. But I think that we're just gonna go out for a nice lunch with her. Brandon is coming over, who's my brother, which I feel like no one knows Brandon anymore. All the OGs who've been here since I started my channel obviously know him because he's been in a lot of videos, but he currently lives with my dad. So we don't see him that much, but yeah, he's coming, which will be fun. I'm sure Brandon want to say hi to you guys. All in all, it's going to be a good day. I feel like I want to get more Christmassy though, guys. Like Christmas is in a week. How has that happened? Like honestly, how? <laughs> and I haven't done anything Christmassy. I mean, obviously I went to Paris and we did go to like a Christmas market, but that is it. Normally I would have gone to loads of garden centers, ice skating and i would feel so christmasy i feel like this year is just different though isn't it i feel like last year i felt so christmasy because we was like locked in and the only place we could go was garden centers but then obviously this year i don't know life's just gotten a bit it's just crazy how quick christmas has come around so I'd like to do something this weekend that's going to make me feel Christmassy and maybe go to a garden centre tomorrow. I just don't feel festive and I hope I'm not the only one because let me tell you, I am Christmas. Like, I love Christmas. But this year I'm just finding it really hard to get in the spirit. Like, I normally love wrapping presents and I've wrapped all my presents pretty much. I just got one more to do. Didn't enjoy it whatsoever. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay guys, this is the outfit of the day. Not yet completed. Top tip, put on white roll next before you do your makeup. It is so stressful trying to get into this when I have a full face of makeup. But I've got on some skinny jeans you guys actually can't even see. Here are my skinny jeans that I'm bringing back okay. I know skinny jeans aren't fashionable anymore, but I really like them, so I'm gonna wear them. And then I'm gonna put on this little so I don't know what to call this, sweater vest from Zara. I don't actually know how cold it is outside. Obviously I'll be wearing a coat. I don't know what coat yet though. How, why can't I get this on? This should be easy to get on. I love this. I really like this outfit if I'm honest. So I just kind of shoved it together one day and now it's my new favorite outfit. Brandon's no longer coming to my grandma's because he won't be here on time. So just me and my mum, which is absolutely fine. We'll have a lovely girly day out with my grandma. I'm also desperate for a new belt. Like, look at this. It is, it's had its days. I've had it for two years and this is the only belt I've worn for two years straight. It's from Princess Polly and I really want another one like it. It looks like this. I honestly love it. God, I can't even show you guys. There you go. And I love it so much, but I don't want to get it again from Princess Polly. I think White Fox do a similar one you have to obviously pay a lot for that shipping and unless I'm making a big order I'm not going to do it just for a belt so I just don't know what to do so if you guys have any cute belt recommendations that I can you know get shipped to the UK for 
nothing <laughs> then I'd love to know because I do love this belt but it definitely needs to be retired at this point because it's been overworn <laughs> and this is the outfit. I don't know why I always throw up peace signs. Like, I need to stop it. I'm 22 years old, for God's sake. But I think I'm just gonna pop on my Adidas Super Cult, or I could put on a pair of slip on vans. I think Super Cults will look better. And then we're good to go. I always need to chuck on a jacket because I'm gonna get cold. I don't know if I should do my hair clip back or not. I never go out with it just down nowadays. I mean, I'm gonna take my clip with me either way because my hair does annoy me. However, I'm gonna have breakfast. I don't want anything too big because it's currently 10. 40 and we're literally gonna get to my grandma's and then go straight out for lunch so i don't know what to have you know it's christmas because your fridge starts to smell like cheese from the cheese you got for your cheese board okay i don't know what to have i'll find something and talk to you guys later look guys it's my mom <laughs> hey he's never in any of my vlogs anymore i went for a croissant by the way you got Please, yes. oh you got my oh on my worry your masks now? Yes, please, thank you. We've been COVID tested, we're negative, and we're good to go. We are. God, this feels very. This... Yeah, it's gone back a bit. No, it, it feels high up. High? Yeah. Really? I don't know, maybe I just sit a bit too far back in my it own. It looks car. like you're a lot further back than I am. It feels like I'm further forwards. Do you think so? Yeah. Holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand. And watch a choir perform and all Hello, the Christmas songs We're just leaving my grandma's now. We went out for a nice lunch, had some fish and chips. It was very was, nice, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was great. Probably the best fish and chips I've ever had in my life. But it was really good. A lot of food. It was a lot of food. Like a, a lot, lot of food. So we're now going to go home, which should hopefully take like, I don't know. I have we an hour and 20 here, so probably quite similar. We went to Lil, was it like a farm, it wasn't a farm it shop. It was, yes, yeah, like a farm shop. We got some double choc chip cookies, so I'm going to try Norfolk. one. North, it's the Norfolk Cookie Company. Yeah, they're humongous. They're ginormous, aren't they? They oh smell God, they good. They smell great. Look at this, if I can get it out. It's huge. It's thick. Is it good? Ow. Are they really crunchy? Yeah. An hour and twenty to get home as well. Mm. They should be like really tasty. They've got expensive. oats in them. Oh, have they? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Bit sad, but. Oh, are they really? Are they not that chocolatey? No. Oh, really? So not worth the four pound that I spent on them. Actually, Grandma spent on them. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Just got home. Going to turn on. The Christmas tree, not that you guys could even tell. I want to see you love the Christmas tree this year. Before we had red and white, but we opted for like champagne -y gold and white this year and I'm very happy that we did. And then if I'm honest, I think I'm just going to get into some chill clothes and I'm going to talk to you guys about cricket and we can do some arts and crafts once I've had a little chillax and eaten my Twix. So guys, I've decided that I'm going to have a little bit of me time, chill out, get creative and show you guys my new Cricut machine. Now, I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, arts and crafts was my jam. Like, honestly loved it and still do love it. So when Cricut reached out to work with me, it was a no-brainer that I was going to say yes because I love their brand. And I always see super cute personalised things for sale and the fact that I can now make everything in my life personalised... I'm gonna be that household that has labels and everything. So Cricut have various machines. I have the Cricut Joy, which is actually their smallest cutting machine. It can literally fit in a drawer and I even have a little carry case so I can literally take it anywhere and everywhere with me. However, I do feel like because it's so sleek, you could just leave it out on display and it would still look really cute. I will obviously show you guys how it works, but basically it can be used to personalize anything so far. Oh, it's upside down. Let me show you guys. I have personalized my laptop case. This was my first attempt at doing anything and I feel like it came out pretty well. And then tonight we're going to be personalizing these notebooks ready for the new year and goal setting and just smashing life. So we're going to make these look nice, cute and interesting. You can literally do it in 15 minutes or less, which honestly blows my mind because I'm not the craftiest of people, but you literally just plug it in 
open it up because it has a little lid and connect it via Bluetooth to the Cricut Design Space on your desktop or the Cricut app and you're all good to go. So just to show you guys the actual magic of the machine. So you just open this up and this is the blade. However, it gets better. You can actually swap that out for one of their pens and the machine will actually draw your design instead of cutting it. So if you're not a good drawer like yours truly, just get your Cricut Joy to do that. Also, I do have a cutting mat. However, the Cricut Joy is great because you actually don't need to use this because you get smart vinyls. So it basically just doesn't need the mat and it will just cut that straight from the machine, which is pretty damn cool. So as I said, I'm going to be designing these notebooks and just making them a little bit cuter for the new year. I feel like I might do one for goals and like strategies for those goals. And then one can just be like my general ideas for my life, social media and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put a little screen recording for the power of editing on screen now so we can do things together basically. So here is my Cricut Design Space on my desktop. As I mentioned, you can also get the app for it on your phone, which just makes things so much easier. So when you create your Cricut account, you can actually get a 30 day free trial to Cricut Access. And basically that just allows you to gain access to new projects, images, fonts, and exclusive features. So this is my Cricut Space. As you guys can see, I do already have one project, which is my laptop. So you can save the various projects this was obviously my name on the top of my laptop but they also have videos to help obviously some little projects with beginners and just loads and loads of ideas there's lots of Christmas things going on right now which is really fun also they have a mug press which I'm gonna have to try out one day however we're gonna go ahead and start a new project to design our notebooks so everything is super easy to use you have templates you have projects already there images text which we'll probably be using the most out of um we also have some shapes and you can actually upload your own images if that is something that you want to do but today we're just going to be using the things that cricket offer us because it's just so simple so i think we're going to go for text and maybe if we just write goals i feel like keeping it simple and we can just go ahead and change the font oh my god there's so many choices this one looks cute. I absolutely love this font. It's what I used for my laptop case. So maybe I just keep with the theme and do this as well. Okay, so once you've decided on what you want to be cut out, you click on make it. And then you obviously choose how you're gonna load it. We're gonna go without a mat because we have the Cricut Joy and we can do that. And then it basically just gives you a little overview of what your artwork is going to look like. And then you select your base material. So we are using the Smart Vinyl Matte Metallic for this one. And it just checks that you have loaded your blade and your material. Here we are. I'm just going to feed this in. Oh. And then once it's all ready to go, you just click go on your laptop and it should just start doing it automatically. And then once it's done, you just unload it from your laptop and it's all done. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, um, but I how this works honestly just blows my mind. So I'm just going to cut this out so we don't waste anything. And then we're going to actually peel off the majority of the vinyl. So then we just have the words left and then i'm just going to use the weeding tool to weed out all of the holes of the letters and then finally we're just going to grab some transfer tape now you don't actually have to use this like you can literally just pick it off oh i forgot the hole in the s but you can just pick it off but if i think if you're doing text obviously it's going to be a lot easier for you and a lot straighter if you're using your transfer tape. And if you obviously look after the bits of transfer tape that you're using, you can actually reuse them a couple of times. And then it should just lift away onto your transfer tape. And then we go onto the notebook and try and make it straight. Moment of truth, has it worked? 
finalized it and it says goals. I honestly feel so proud whenever I do it right because I don't know, it's just something very satisfying about making something yourself. Okay, let's get cutting some more. And it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. These are the finished books and I love them this one's very simple but I love it I feel like the ideas one could do with a little bit more like maybe another butterfly here I think but they're definitely some that I can work on and bear in mind I've only done these three things I feel like they look pretty good I actually just sent a photo of the books to Aiden and genuinely he thought that I had bought them from the shop so yeah I'm super proud of myself that I was able to do this but lastly, I haven't shown you guys all of the different colours that you can get. I mean, this is just some of the colours that you guys can get for your Cricut. But there are honestly so many different colours. Obviously, we've got metallic, metallic colours. Definitely recommend Cricut. It's definitely kept me occupied and entertained. So there'll be a link to them down below if you guys want to go get your own Cricut cutting machine. Good morning, everyone. Happy... God, I can't believe it's Sunday. It feels like it should be Saturday, but it's not... I tinted my eyebrows this morning and I feel like I look a little bit extreme so I wasn't gonna wear makeup today and I looked at myself in the mirror and was like I think I need to put some on because I look like I've got caterpillars on my eyebrows but we're currently getting ready to go out because we're gonna go to a garden centre I said I want to try and feel Christmassy so I'm gonna do everything I can to make that possible and also I think I'm 99.9% .9 sure that Tim Hortons has just opened up near my house. So we're going to go there. I always need to get my car washed. It's a bit of a boring day, but it's going to be slightly Christmassy. Maybe go look at some Christmas lights this evening. And yeah, that is the plan. I haven't eaten anything today yet because I don't know if anyone else does this, but I feel like I'm going through a phase of like not wanting breakfast. Currently in the garden centre. I always love these little things. I know. I'd never get one, but could you imagine this in your house? Aiden, shall we have this? Huh? When we move out, should we get this? Which one? What, this whole the whole one? thing. Yeah. We'll just make our own. There's a little ski lift. Guys, I'm kind of obsessed with these little bears. There's three of them. They're so cute. Guys, we're currently looking at the fish, and this one here is so cute. I feel so bad. He's scared. This is his friend over the back. Oh, yeah, his friend at the back's coming out. He keeps on looking at him. He's looking like... There he is. Oh. Oh, bless him. It's not open yet. I was certain it was open, but it's not. What should we have for lunch? KFC. Is it KFC? Oh, but we're vegetarian. I can't have KFC. They don't need them. <laughs> what do you want for lunch now? I don't know. What do you want? McDonald's. For lunch? KFC. I might get out of the way. What should we get? No choice. What do you want? Um, really easy. Yeah, but you can't get anything from KFC, I don't think, can you? Oh, you get a vegan burger, probably. Mm. I really want a twister though. <laughs> we made a little detour off to Freeport after... Oh, what it's so light now. <laughs> after going to KFC for lunch. Yeah. And no. I made a purchase. No, we didn't. We did have KFC. Where is it then? I made a purchase and I'm really, really, really happy about it. I wasn't expecting to do it. Well, I wasn't expecting them to have them, but I always get so many questions about these shoes. I'm making a lot of noise. I always get so many questions about them. They're called Adidas Super Courts and they have them in the outlet, but they were never in stock in my size until today. We got the last pair, so I got a fresh. They're slightly different to the ones that I currently have. They're not too over. Oh, there you go. They're slightly different, but I'm really happy that I have them. I have a fresh pair because mine look really gross, but we're going to go home and really? uh, probably play some games separately, I assume. Uh -huh. I'll play some Sims or Animal Crossing, Aiden will play COD. 
and life will be great so guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because i'm gonna edit it and get it up tomorrow for you guys aiden is currently playing xbox so i'm gonna go edit but i hope that you all did enjoy it honestly don't even know what even happened in this vlog but i hope that you did enjoy and again a massive thank you to cricket for kindly sponsoring a section of this video i will leave a link to them down below in the description box and yeah we used them today we did we made some christmas cards with cricket today but anyway i'm gonna go see you all later Bye.